Howdy, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Get excited. We've got one of our team leaders, Kylie, here, and we're going to get into her top five Japanese maples. That's some of her favorite Japanese maples, and if she likes them, you should check them out too. <laughs> Kylie, how long have you been working here at Mr. Maple? I have been here for almost two years. My two years is coming up. So Kylie is working on two years here at Mr. Maple. She does everything here at the nursery from helping teams weed, helping ship. I mean, when it comes to moving plants here at the nursery, whatever you can think of, Kylie handles all aspects here at Mr. Maple. What's your favorite part about working here? Oh my gosh, so many things. Um, honestly, just getting to work outside every day, getting to be with trees, nature, and honestly, just everyone that I work with. We have such a great group of people here. It's fantastic. Uh, that's one thing I, I can't think enough of is we've got such an awesome staff here at Mr. Maple. And that's one of the cool things about these top fives, because sometimes it's a top five with a customer, you get to know them, but sometimes it's someone who's behind the scenes working hard to bring all these cool plants for you. And that's what we've been doing here lately is bringing you some of our employee highlights. Uh, you might have seen her other top five. You should go check that out. Top fives change all the time. And that's one of the fun things about top fives. It's a different season, it changes. If it's a different time of the year, it changes. And as you start to know plants, it changes as well. So it's something that's just awesome to talk about. And this is the plant show about people. So get excited. We're getting into Kylie's top five Japanese maples. What do you have at number five, Kylie? All right, we have got Cigar Nishiki. Um, this tree I think is just so cool. It has this really awesome variegation on the edge of the leaves. And I honestly can't think of another tree that does this. It's just so unique. Um, yeah, it's just really awesome. Yeah, I love Cigar Nishiki. I fell in love with this tree years ago on one of my very first Maple Society meetings. The same Maple Society meeting, we went to Buckholtz Nursery for the first time. Frank Biles, love him. He's the guy who's been a mentor to us. He drove us all the way up to the Puget Sound Botanical Garden where he donated some trees. And we saw Cigar Nishiki and it was sided properly where it had morning sun, afternoon shade, and it had this yellow variegation around the edge just beautifully. And if you side it properly, you can get a real thick margin on Cigar Nishiki. And I've seen it up, the yellow margin be up to a half inch in its, in its diameter and its width. So, I mean, it can really put on a show. You know, love the color yellow. Cigar Nishiki, an awesome selection. Yeah. All right. So number four, um, we got Vitifolium. Um, I think You've got to have a japonicum in your top five. Um, the leaf shape, they just, I mean, these leaves will get like as big as your hands and the fall color is absolutely stunning. Um, definitely check this out. Yeah, this is one that Summer Rain Oaks talked about as well. Sometimes it's called the grapevine maple because it has these large leaves that look like a grapevine or something tropical out there in the landscape. The japonicums are some of my best. They've got some amazing fall color. One of the best fall colors of any of the trees. I know that you also love Indian summer as well. Yeah, that was my first my first purchase, yep. <laughs> and so this japonicum sort of falls in that vein as well. Mm -hmm. Big, huge japonicum leaf. And the japonicums often turn fall color based on the length of the day in the fall, not necessarily the weather. And that means you get a consistent fall color each and every year, even if the weather is inconsistent. And big, thick leaves. I mean, everything's bigger in the japonicums. Fun, awesome plant. Again, morning sun, afternoon shade for the best growth rate. Yeah. All right, number three is gonna be Punk Hill. This tree is just so, so, so cool. The leaf shape reminds me of like spiders. Um, and I just, I love, you know, I'm obsessed with like a dark, dark leaf. Um, it reminds me of one of my original favorites, Black Lace, which you should also check out. But um, this tree is just so cool. It's so different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this punk hill is an awesome plant. It's one of those darker colors. It often on the lobes has a more rounded back to it than many of the other lunar lobums. So on some of this older growth, you'll notice a very rounded back to it. It's a selection from Korea. And, you know, me just trying to use Google Translate, I plugged this in and said, hey, what does punk hill mean? And it means, you know, like flowing in the wind. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then later I learned that it was actually named after the director of the Arboretum in Korea where this tree was named. 
And so, I mean, his name may actually translate, at least with Google Translate, as like flowing in the wind. Uh -huh. And that's what you get with these lunar lobums. You get this very wispy feel yeah. in the garden. It just sort of blows in the wind. It's more open because it doesn't have that full leaf like a blood good does. New growth in the summer may look a little more palmate-like, but as it matures, mm. you get that very bamboo-like feel in the garden. Yeah. And that's what makes Pung Kill so special. Yeah, so cool. All right, number two, it's gotta be Manio Nosado. I actually just purchased um, a Manio Nosado. I absolutely love it. I think the coloring is so unique. You get this like really light green with like a dark green and this like purple color in the variegation. So cool. Again, I can't quite think of another tree that, that does this. This one's really special. Yeah, I recently shot a podcast with Sean on the Collector's Corner. And one of the things we would give, a, what we do in the Collector's Corner is we are given a topic and we try to choose a maple that matches with it. It may not really be your favorite, but it may be what you think of first. We chose rock and roll because, as one of our topics because Sean's in an awesome southern rock band. And, you know, if I'd have thought about Manny Nosato, it's very rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's got all this craziness going on but it's just classic, it's awesome, and it just brings just so much drama in the garden. It's a selection by Sukasa Maple in Japan. The name means Village of 10,000 Leaves, and it's because every leaf is variegated differently. You get some of that purple in the early spring with lime green variegation, then to a green with lime green variegation, and then some yellows to oranges in the fall. I mean, this is a dynamic tree for anybody's garden, for sure. Absolutely. All right. Okay, number one spot, it's gotta be a Shiraswanum, of course, it's Mikado. Um, this tree reminds me of my, my number one love, Bronze Age, but it is a little different. Um, the, the coloring on this one, it's, it's a little more like burgundy, like purpley kind of, um, the new growth is, so I, I just, I love it. It's, it's got a place in my heart. <laughs> Yeah, the original Acer Shirasalonum Mikado lies in the garden at Buckholtz Nursery in the Floral Wonder Arboretum that Matt and I purchased last fall. This is just a wonderfully colorful Acer Shirasalonum that keeps putting on colors all throughout the seasons. I think many of the people who are pulling Japanese maples, um, you know, for shipping, often are taking Mikados home right now because the bronze colors are just outrageous. You get some of those very burgundy colors with lime green veins right now. It's very attractive, grabs your attention, and the leaf is a little fuller than your typical palmate and being it is an Acer Shirasalonum, likely an Acer Shirasalonum hybrid. Love what these trees do, they're underrated. People don't realize how cold tolerant Acer Shirasalonum is. In those zone five winters when you get a polar vortex, the Shirasalonum hybrids thrive and do fantastic when other trees may have, you know, be affected more by the crazy weather occurrence. These come out bulletproof and an amazing tree you need to add in the garden. Mm-hmm, so special, you guys. Definitely check this one out. Kylie, thanks for jumping in today's top five. Absolutely. This is her top five Japanese maples this summer. Yeah. And Kylie is one of these people here at Mr. Maple who worked behind the scenes to get Japanese maples to your garden. So make sure you tell her thanks in the comments. And if you want to see Kylie more here on the channel, let her know that too. Y'all, <laughs> thanks, thanks so much. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.